Welcome to the Robot Club Asia Pacific Changin 2022. First, we would like to introduce our team. My name is Laura Skania, and I'm Kirana Lutnazwar, and we are from Amazing Country, Indonesia. Our age is 13 years old, and we are from MTS, Balung Wong, Sumber, and Lukujang, Sidoarjo. We are in the Postways First Steps U19 category. Team experience is this is will be the first time we participating in the Asia Pacific Global Cup event. Previously, we studied programming through extracurricular at our school. In the participating this Global Cup event, we will try our best to learn more about robot programming in this competition so able to know programming in our preparation. Challenge test. Our challenge test is to collect as many points as possible and then immediately put them into the deposit. The category that we are participating in is Cospis Challenge Rescue First Steps U19. Next, we will discuss the problems we face and we will investigate the methods, result, and conclusion. Summary of our project Our problems investigated First, we often hit the trap. Second, the robot doesn't want to deposit when the robot has book full of points. The methods that we use. First, use RGB sensors to detect the color of points and collect it. The second is use X and Y position to make it easy for the robot blocks in an area. The third is use five ultrasonic sensors to avoid the obstacles. Fourth, use the key actions to determine what the robot should do and where the robot should walk. The result that we got. First, the robot can detect the color of the points and collect it. Second, the robot can avoid walls and trap. Third, the robot can reach deposit easily. Conclusion To achieve the best results, we have to make the create the points and go to the deposit and also avoid walls and traps. We can use the methods that we have said before it, but we can also use the purple line to make it easier for the robot to reach the deposit quickly. So, we can make it easier for the robot to get the maximum results. How to? How do we often the trap? And how do we try the robot to make a deposit when it brings full points? The end part. First, to avoid traps, we have to use RGB sensors to yellow, and we also have to rotate the robot in the yellow position. We should also be able to avoid the trap zone. Second, to get the robot to make a deposit when it brings full points, we have to use X and Y positions to make it easier for the robot to make turns steer the deposit. We can also use the purple line by using X and Y positions, so the robot will walk straight over the purple line and head to the deposit. Here we can see that in the first three minutes the robot will take science color, then the robot will take red and the last is black. So in that points are easier, we use several positions and use ultrasonic sensors. Sometimes the robot also does not deposit, even though it has space the box to deposit. So we can turn it properly so that the robot can deposit.
In the last two minutes, the robot has started taking points randomly. So the robot will be able to take the points it finds first without looking at the order. Applying knowledge gained to the real world. By knowing how to program robot like this, we can know how to program a robot, so we can operate robots to help humans work to be like For example, robots help pick up items by using RGB sensors to detect the color of objects and use the upright speed, so the robot can pick up objects quickly. Thank you for your attention.